Hey guys, welcome back to the range. I wanted to do a quick video for you today on something that I know is going to step on toes, but I'm going to say it anyways. Uh, over the years, I've done a lot of training and I've had the absolute privilege of having trained with everything from private citizens all the way up to tier one operators. And the consistent theme that I have found across the board with the exception of some of the tier one operators, that's a hard statement to make some of the tier one operators, was that the the vast majority of the really dialed in people that I was training with were the private citizens. Without exception, they were the private citizens. This is an important thing to be covering right now because as I'm speaking to you, it is November 2nd. Tomorrow are the general elections and moving forward, depending on, with, actually with all honesty, moving forward, no matter who gets into uh, to the presidency, America is going to change. America is going to change dramatically. And citizens for the last several months have been recognizing and praise God that Americans are recognizing that we must be our own um, first responders. We cannot depend on the police to be their force, not because they don't want to be, because they are incapable of getting there fast enough. Having been a police officer, I can tell you that the fastest response time that I ever had was, I actually I used to think it was about 30 something seconds, but I, I recently drove that very stretch of road and timed it. Guess, guess what guys? My response time was 15 seconds. The fastest I got to a call was 15 seconds. I was dispatched and uh, actually it was somebody else that one of the other officers was dispatched and when they said the address of where it was, I realized I was right there. And I keyed up and I said, uh, negative signal 12 show me in route that was my call sign and I whipped in there um, and I as I was pulling into the parking lot I watched um, a husband picking his wife up like a wrestler and just kadoosh, and just body slamming her this is back in 2010 so the 2000, 2009 or 2010 here in Chattanooga we had a bunch of snow and all the snow in my town had been kind of like pushed into the supermarket parking lot so I kid you not, man, there was like that much snow in the parking lot. So by the grace of God, that dude, when he picked her up, by the grace of God, he body slammed her into, you know, what is that, two feet, 18 inches, two feet of snow and slush. So she, she more splashed than anything else. She still got up with her arm jacked up. I went, I went hands on with the dude, it got ugly. But the point is, um, I didn't get there fast enough. Guys. 15 seconds and I didn't get there fast enough to stop the crime from having occurred Remember he picked her up. He slammed her and by the way The reason we got the call was the gas station attendant was watching him slap her around so technically the crime had already occurred Because that's why the call went out So the point is what if the dude had slapped her around knocked her over pulled out a gun and killed her and then we got the call Okay the fact of the matter is, law enforcement cannot get there fast enough to help you. You are your own best self-defense. And I say this boldly, and I say this with absolute 100% fact. It does not matter who gets into the White House. It does not matter which direction America goes in the next several weeks. What matters is past, present, and future, you are your own self-defense. The sharp end of the spear is always and always has been the tier one citizen. Guys, that's why this company, that's why the, that's why the name of my company, that's why the name of this channel is tier one citizen. Uh, many years ago, I was at a class ironically, and I was in my hotel room and that evening, a friend of mine that was asking me to build him a rifle was like, hey man, so like, you know, what do you see the tier one operators running from time? To uh, he knew that from time to time I would have the, the privilege of training with tier one operators. And I said, who cares what the tier one operators are running? Be a tier one citizen. And I was like, dude, I like that. And I wrote that in my phone while we were talking and kind of set it aside. And back then I was just Abner. I think I was already doing this YouTube channel, but back then I was just like occasionally building a rifle for a friend kind of thing. I was still a magazine writer at the time. And, and, I, and I was like, yeah, tier one, uh, tier one citizen, I like that. And that's where it came from. So um, the tier one operator has a very specific mandate of what they do. But the tier one citizen has to be sharp all the time. And everything they do, everywhere they go in their everyday life, they have to constantly be switched on at a certain level. You know, a tier one operator has the benefit of knowing 
I'm going into direct action. This is what I'm going to be doing now. A tier 1 citizen, when he's going grocery shopping, has to be on. When he's on the range, clearly has to be on. When he's at church, has to be on. We always have to be on as tier 1 citizens. Um, I'll leave it there. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. Have a good one.